Earl of Dartmouth, two minutes. In the UK, there are now 2.46 million unemployed. Youth unemployment is 20% in the UK. In France, youth unemployment is 24%. It's 25% in Italy and an incredible 39% in Spain. Big companies have been firing people for the last two years and they will continue to do so. The best hope for the unemployed is with small and micro enterprises. However, EU directives make it difficult for micro enterprises to operate successfully. EU regulations stifle their growth. And for once, the Commission is doing something sensible with this proposal to exempt micro enterprises for some, from some accounting regulations. In the UK, we have over 1.7 million micro firms. If these firms were able to hire just one additional person, the UK's severe unemployment problem would in large part be solved. Now, we've all received the circular from Mr. Sturks and his friends. And Mr. Sturks and his friends oppose this partly on the basis that exempting very small firms from the full blast of EU accounting directives somehow runs counter to the single market. This is a completely ludicrous argument which only, which only a Belgian member of the Aldi group could possibly have come up with. I know that in this parliament, if you criticise Belgian or the Belgians, you get fined. But I would remind you of a bit of history. 96 years ago, Britain entered the First World War in order to protect the terror, 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 territorial integrity of Belgium. I would suggest that Mr. Starks partly repays that obligation by ceasing to attempt to destroy Britain's economy and Britain as a nation state.